Hi, I'm Bianca from ironinglab.com and today I'm going to be looking at how to stop shine marks while ironing. So by the end of this video you'll know exactly what causes those smooth shiny scorch marks and you should be able to completely avoid it ever happening again. I really hope these videos are helpful to you and if it is it would be really great if you click the like button. It really helps support the channel. Oh, and I'm really interested to hear what piece of clothing you've completely ruined while ironing. I, I've personally destroyed a favorite shirt and I know it's devastating. Right, so let's get into it. What is shine exactly? Well, shine is caused when your iron is basically too hot and that intense heat of the sole plate actually flattens or melts the fibers and that's what gives it that shiny look. Okay, so let's jump into it. Here are the 10 tips to help you avoid shine while ironing. So first, you have to read and really understand the clothing label. And this will tell you exactly what the fabric is made of. And from this, you can see which heat setting to choose when you're actually ironing. Natural fabrics like cotton can handle a much higher heat setting, but synthetic materials like polyester or nylon need much less heat. Secondly, you should get yourself a quality steam iron and it needs to have a higher steam output. The higher the steam output, the quicker wrinkles will be removed and there'll be less time for your iron to actually damage the fabric. Third, shine is much more obvious on darker colors, so be extra careful when ironing them. Number four is to sort your delicate items first. What I like to do is sort my ironing pile by the different materials and iron the synthetic items first because they need to be ironed at a cooler temperature. And this way, as your iron gets hotter, you don't risk you know, scorching the more sensitive fabrics. Five is if you're unsure of what to use on a particular fabric or what temperature, always start with a lower heat setting. And once you see it's safe, you can always turn up the heat. Tip number six is actually a clever one. This is um, to iron your clothing inside out. This way, even if you accidentally create a shine, people won't be able to see it. Number seven is to use an ironing cloth. And what this does, it, it performs, a, it creates a barrier between the clothing and the hot sole plate. So it will absorb most of the heat and prevent the fabric from actually scorching. So you get different types of ironing cloths and I like this one. It's a mesh type which is great because you can see through it and it also allows more steam to get through. But if you don't have one of these you can just use um, a clean dishcloth or a pillowcase and any piece of cotton will really do perfectly. Point number eight is to vertical steam your clothing. So if you're nervous about a particular piece of clothing put it on a hanger and turn up the steam on your iron. Then without letting the sole plate actually touch the fabric, run the steam of the iron um, along the garment or along the fabric and it will just help steam out the wrinkles instead of that direct contact. Number nine is to iron your clothes while they're still damp. Like with steaming, the damp fabric will de-wrinkle much faster without too much direct heat from the sole plate. So if your clothing is already dry, use a spray bottle or use the spray feature on your iron so that you can wet the fabric first. Okay, and here's our last tip and it's to use a padded ironing board. And this is particularly helpful along the seam, seams of um, trouser pants, which they're more obvious to spot those shine marks. And this is because they're a little raised and they get more pressure. So a padded ironing board actually helps absorb some of that pressure and prevents the scorching. So that basically sums it up. And this is the iron that I would recommend when it comes to avoiding scorch marks. I'll put a link in the description. It's the Rowenta Steep Force and it has a very high steam output. So it really cuts back on the risk of scorching your clothes. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you have accidentally scorched a piece of clothing and want to try to reverse the damage, I'll be following up this video with another one that includes five techniques that may just save the day. Thanks so much for watching.